good evening and a little update on today <clears throat> as it was a horrible day starting at five so what happened is that um, I'm not sure if you can see but my tongue is really horrible so because of my allergies and asthma I get fungal infections in my mouth here and there and they are not transmittable or anything it just happens because your immune system really falls and <clears throat> it turns out that my immune system is almost zero so I got a pill to get rid of the it's a one little pill to get rid of my fungal infections in my body it's not on the body it's in the body I have to flush it out all the parasites and stuff <clears throat> because when your immune system is low you're attacked by everything and my tongue really was this thick because of the allergies and then the fungus you know the, that infection just takes over and it's actually a good fungus that we all have but when your immune system is down it just overflows your mouth I and I I don't have it that much it's called candida albanis albinis something like that I'm not sure <clears throat> I had it I always get it once a year so it's nothing new but it's horribly distracting I have to drink some special herbal tea made of uh, what's the name of the plant well, I'm not sure, but it doesn't taste good, but you have to gar gargle it and then spit it out. And, and I just had some food because I didn't eat almost nothing today. And as I, I, as I have no computer, I feel, you know, kind of trapped. Like, you know, I miss it. I just have a little TV here in my room. By the way, this is the room, this is my room, my childhood room, at my mom's place, you know, where I grew up. And I sleep here because she's sick. And I just don't feel good. I didn't sleep. I just do stupid things. Tomorrow I have to go and paint and I, I mean, I mean, I have to, it's not that I want to really, I want to rest, but I can't rest. My tongue really hurts. You know, it's like you have little bumps on it. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see. I know it's disgusting, but who cares? I mean, you know, you can see worse here, so, on YouTube. And... And more disappointment because I I went to see a computer that I wanted to buy and of course they don't have it, you have to wait for a week or two and then there's another store but it's more expensive so it's like $50 more and everything just seems to go up, up, up so in the end I don't think I'm gonna have a laptop anymore so who cares, you know, I have a phone. My stomach hurts right now because it just ate and I ate really fast and I don't know, I just don't feel good. There is a fine line between not feeling good and feeling suicidal and it's always on my mind and it really bugs me because you know what, 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 what's stopping me from jumping? I'm on the fourth floor, I would die probably, or break all the bones, I don't know. Or to take all the pills that I have here, you know, and I have a lot. You know, I just, I'm just thinking, you know, what to do. Because, you know, most people can't understand that when you are in pain, constantly in pain, all kinds of pains, you just want pain to stop. And the pain, if it stops, you have to, you have to take horrible drugs for it to stop. Then that drug makes another thing really, really horrible. And then another and another, and I just can't do it anymore. And 
today when I was getting medicine for my tongue. My doctor told me, well, you should stop eating white bread, flour, everything, you know. And I said, I don't eat sugar, yes. He said, yeah, but you get sugar in bread and in flour and, you know, so in the end I should stop eating everything. I shouldn't eat anything, you know. He, he, he told me, you can just eat meat and a lot of fruit and vegetables, but I can't eat fruit and vegetables because I don't have a gallbladder. So my stomach doesn't process fruit and vegetables that well, I have to cook it, I can't eat it raw. If I cook it, I, it's gotta be cooked without skin. Meat, I can eat only chicken, I can't tolerate pork or beef, I just can't, I can't digest it. So, I like some fish, I don't like that much. So what am I left with? Nothing. I can't eat rice every day, you know, or, or those stupid... Uh, instant noodles that I eat. So I don't know. I'm watching, uh, if, if anybody's interested, I'm watching a really old movie from 1980. Yeah, 1980. John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness. I love him as a director and loved, I love horror movies. I never said that, right? I love horror movies. And I like sci-fi and I have a huge collection of DVDs and there and here and there and a lot of it. I don't know. You know, all this in my room, everything and everything, it just seems pointless. I don't know why, but I give so much into those collections, my heart, my love, my childhood, and I just feel, well, I feel comforted by it, but I don't know, sometimes I think I should just sell everything. I don't know what to do, I just don't feel good. I have a feeling that I should just say sorry, sorry, sorry. And I don't know why am I saying sorry, you know. I just don't feel good. And... I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help myself. I look really tired and, you know, just don't feel good. I never smile anymore, so that's, that's sad as well. You know what? I love watching SpongeBob and it's so stupid because it's, it's a kid's cartoon, but I find so many, um, so many SpongeBob moments that are Connecting to my life, you know, it's it's so real to an adult, so I love it, yeah. I know, I'm stupid. No, I'm not stupid, I'm just, I'm just, I guess, child, childish, but in a grown-up way, I don't know. Yeah, so, keep fingers crossed, my tongue doesn't get any thicker because it's horrible and my infectious goes away and because I just can't take it anymore and all the fucking weeds that I'm allergic on are now in the full bloom and it's horrible and my throat really burns because of it because it's it goes into your nose and mouth and then you it stays in your throat and gets here and then you have to cough it out and it's so stupid you know so many processes to go through and I have to wait 11 days for my blood work and analysis and and then I have to go to have my kidney scanned and I don't know if there is something tumors cancers or whatever I, I won't be able to go to my art residence and that sucks flight is always, uh, is already bought, so I don't know, I'm 
we'll see. So yeah, I'm just gonna say <coughs> thank you people for watching and bearing with me because I know I'm boring. And no, hearing about people that are sick is not easy for me. And I'm just saying these things because I think it, it might help other people to feel the same. So, and it helps me as well, you know. So, thank you. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't want to, you don't have to really. Because this is just, I'm going to say for a, not just for, uh, I'm going to say keeping a video diary for myself but being an open book about it, about my health, because that's the one thing that people are not honest about and I'm gonna be so... Stay healthy, peace, be kiss, and have a nice day or have a nice night. I know I want. <laughs>